Well, if you go back before the Enlightenment, art, science, religion, and the state were four strands of a single rope. So this series, um, uh, and there are some interior members of this as well, uh, is loosely based on the ice cores that are drilled out of the ice in Antarctica, uh, in mountain glaciers. But these are libraries of information. So if you look at the way I've treated the surfaces with these layers, uh, that's just a hint at what a real ice core looks like and more importantly feels like. Just like dendrochronology with trees, you can count the years. At this point, the Antarctic cores go back almost three quarters of a million years. You know, it looks permanent, but actually as we read more every day, it's quite threatened. The, the cores top and bottom are kind of a matrix into which there is an event. And that can be information that's coming out of the cores that the scientists go after, or in this case, it's visual. Um, what I'm hoping is that this will read as unstable to symbolize the bedrock under an ice cap. Um, and then what's going on at that junction um, is of interest. That's where the energy is happening, where the ice is sliding over the rock, and that's where the energy is. This derives its energy from something different. The divorce of art and science is artificial. If you think about it, both art and science are based on looking very, very closely at the world and making some kind of sense out of it. The flash of creativity, where all of a sudden there's poof, something where there was nothing, is the same in both fields. But that flash is inspired.